Hey coaches, this is Ross Gladelon from Youth Football Online. And today, we're discussing the inverted veer, or sometimes called dash read play. Some people have called it the jet read. Some people have called it the power read. It's a very big play in the pistol offense and any gun offense, really. It's really taken over over the last couple of years. First time I really saw it was when Cam Newton ran it with Auburn uh, under Gus Malzahn back in 2009, I believe when they won the national title. It's a great play to take advantage of a running quarterback, good athlete, and it's a great play, again, to mess with the defensive end and the defense entirely because it's an option play, but it's called the inverted veer for a reason. Instead of them reading the dive first, it's going to attack the perimeter first. And then the second option is to take it on a dive play or off tackle. First, we'll go over the rules. The rules are basically very similar to power O. That's why a lot of times it's called the power read, with the exception of the back side. Play side offensive line, just like power. Play side tackle, play side guard, gap down backer, same as power. Tackle, anybody in your gap, you've got him. Right now he's free. Gap down backer on the mic. Imalos and man on line of scrimmage is the read for the quarterback, so we're not blocking him. Gap down backer for the guard. Right now he has somebody in his gap, his inside gap. He's got it. Guard has to understand that against most fronts, he's going to have the guy by himself in the A gap instead of a combo because the center has to protect the pulling guard hole, PPGH. The center has to block all the way back to the three technique. Okay, This could be a tough block. However, if he takes a good enough step, he'll be able to get on the outside number and get a piece of him and at least ride him up the field. If he rides him up the field, he can't make the play. The biggest thing we have to see is that he can't go across his face. So obviously helmet location and helmet positioning is important. Our backside guard, just like power, power up. Pull, skip pull, keep your shoulders square, and get up for the play side linebacker. Okay, no different. If he sees the defensive end, this is important, another key coaching point. The defensive end comes downhill, really comes downhill, he can take it outside, okay, if he feels like he can do it. All right, but most of the time, he's pulling for, like it's power, getting up right upside, you know, right inside the uh, C gap. Backside tackle is the only way, the only uh, real way in which it varies. He'll gap pinch. The reason why we don't just tell him to seal and cut off is there's a shotgun snap involved. There's a gun snap, it's going to be a little bit slower, and the second read is the quarterback pulling it. There's a read involved. So it's not like power O, which is quick hitting, where he can just go right now. So he has to gap hinge. If he's blitzing, you can take him because he's stepping this way, but he's going to gap hinge and influence the defensive end. Hopefully he rushes upfield. Same thing with your backside tight end if you have him in the game. You have a jet back. This does not need to be a jet sweep kit. A lot of people don't call it the jet read because of that. Sometimes it could be your back. It could be an offset back and just at the snap, it runs almost like what looks like outside zone. And you can still run the same exact play. You do not need to have motion. You do not need to have a jet sweep kit. We run it with jet. So it'll take his three steps, jet, sweep motion, at the snap, form the mesh with the quarterback. Quarterback on this is going to slide step. Okay, form the mesh, ride. Except instead of turning his shoulders, he's going to keep him square to the line of scrimmage and just keep looking at his read. Okay, the mesh will be formed right about here. Alright, outside arm up for this back, goes through, he takes off like a shot if he gets the ball, or even if he doesn't, just to influence. Alright, our play side slot, his rules block outside linebacker, and block it like traditional jet sweep, where we want to get to the edge. So he's going to take an outside step, and try to cave in the outside backer. We want to get to the perimeter first on this play. You're back, if he's athletic enough, you can have him released from the pistol alignment, for support. Okay, last year we had an athletic enough tailback who could do that. If not, very simple, you can either cheat him that way a little bit, or you can just put him in an offset position and do it. Whichever one you see put, because if you have complimentary plays like the gun triple, you can run it from offset too. So here's the jet read play. He runs it. He has a read with this kid. This kid's going to do one of four things. First, he's going to come downhill. 
He's going to turn his shoulders, see an inside release, he's going to go downhill. Easy read for the quarterback. You take steps down, give the ball on jet sweep. Get to the perimeter. We have numbers. He could sit, not do anything. Stay at the line of scrimmage and just force the quarterback to make a read. In that case, we tell our quarterback, use your best judgment. More likely than not, we'd like our fast athletic kid getting the ball full speed and going to the edge and beating them. However, if our splits are real wide and that kid's all the way out here and he's sitting, if our quarterback feels athletic enough, we'll tell him that it's not a bad read if you take it and go. At least you're following the pulling guard. Worst thing that could happen is a one-yard gain, two-yard gain. Best thing, he can break it. He can fly upfield. Okay? If he flies upfield, automatic. Pull, and run quarterback power, follow your guard. Automatic, he runs, flies straight up field, he's there to kill the jet back. Pull it, follow your guard. Or, which you don't see this as often, rarely, he'll feather out, because he sees jet. Easy read for the quarterback, he plays out, pull it, take off and run. He's a great football player, it's been very advantageous for us the last two years. Uh, you see a lot of complimentary plays based off of it. And again, it's something that gives the defense a different read. They have to read perimeter first and then dive, which is something that's totally different than traditional inside veer. It's a great play. Uh, I think it's a play that could be incorporated in any offense that you run, at least if you're out of the shotgun.